Consult any mainstream science publication, or ask any science teacher, why can't we feel the earth spinning? And they will unanimously reply that it is because the globe spins at a perfect constant speed, and we can only feel acceleration or deceleration. As Cool Cosmos website writes, Earth moves very fast. It spins at a speed of about 1,000 miles per hour, and orbits around the sun at a speed of about 67,000 miles per hour. We do not feel any of this motion, because these speeds are constant. You can only feel motion if your speed changes. For example, if you are in a car, which is moving at a constant speed, on a smooth surface, you will not feel much motion. However, when the car accelerates, or when the brakes are applied, you do feel motion. The glaring problem with this claim, rarely ever addressed, is that the globe and everything on it, if it existed, would be undergoing constant acceleration, because uniform circular motion is constant acceleration. As published on physicsclassroom.com, uniform circular motion can be described as the motion of an object in a circle at a constant speed. As an object moves in a circle, it is constantly changing its direction. At all instances, the object is moving tangent to the circle. Since the direction of the velocity vector is the same as the direction of the object's motion, the velocity vector is directed tangent to the circle as well. An object moving in a circle is accelerating. An object undergoing uniform circular motion is moving with a constant speed. Nonetheless, it is accelerating due to its change in direction. The direction of the acceleration is inwards, with the inward net force directed perpendicular to the velocity vector. The object is always changing its direction and undergoing an inward acceleration. Therefore, the globe's theoretical astronomy is at odds with demonstrable physics. Uniform, and even more so with non-uniform, circular motion creates a centripetal force which entails constant acceleration in constantly changing directions. The heliocentric model claims the Earth rotates in uniform circular motion at a constant speed while revolving an elliptical orbit around the Sun at another constant speed, while the entire solar system makes a circular orbit around the Milky Way galaxy at another constant speed. And the Milky Way galaxy shoots off in a straight line from their Big Bang beginning at yet another constant speed. In other words, we are actually supposedly undergoing four different circular, elliptical, and straight line motions simultaneously, but being told that we, quote, do not feel any of this motion because these speeds are constant. They always give the example of a car or train going straight at a constant velocity, and claim we cannot feel that motion. But what if the car is speeding along an elevated, uniform, circular racetrack, while that entire elevated racetrack is making an elliptical circuit around the racing grounds, while simultaneously the entire racing grounds themselves are on a gigantic, moving, circular foundation, while that foundation itself shoots straight off into the universe. These are the actual variables involved with the globe's supposed constant speed that no one in history has ever demonstrated, measured, felt, or experienced whatsoever. So the next time someone claims you cannot feel the Earth's motion because it spins at a constant speed, remind them that uniform circular motion is acceleration, and acceleration is felt. And when they give you the example of a car driving down a straight road, remind them that the car is actually driving on a circular racetrack, while the racetrack is making an elliptical circuit around the racing grounds, while the entire racing grounds themselves are circling around a larger foundation, and that foundation itself is traveling in a straight line. These four simultaneous, varying motions the globe is subjected to in the heliocentric model create multiple acceleration vectors and destroy any possibility that they wouldn't be felt or measurable due to traveling at a constant speed.